welcome back to my channel if you're new here aloha mabuhay i'm so glad you found my channel my name is kathleen and i post vegan fashion lifestyle and beauty videos so for today i would like to give you another review of another handbag again handbag junkie but before we go into that let me just quickly mention that i created a playlist now covering three major topics that i have on this channel vegan handbag reviews i have reviewed quite a ton already and it makes me so happy when you say that you find it helpful you know before making a purchase you you know you read reviews you watch youtube videos and i do appreciate your wonderful comments therefore my goal now is to be doing handbag review every now and then then second makeup skincare will always be part of my lifestyle so we have a playlist for that too and third is all about my vegan lifestyle so if you are interested if you are considering or you know of anyone who wants to you know live a healthy and compassionate lifestyle then i have a playlist for you for that so i post once or twice or sometimes three videos a week depending on my work schedule last week i was not able to do one just because we're very busy with a great move for the clinic anyways let's just jump right into my review so two days after i uploaded my first ever handbag video from this brand jwp i purchased another one and that's because they were running a promotional discount on Facebook like 15% and I used the chance to purchase this backpack just because I'm really eyeing for a decent backpack that won't break the bank and since I was so impressed with the overall quality of JWP honestly it's becoming a favorite now right after Angela Roy so if you aren't familiar with JWP, it's a Chinese brand. All their products, all their bags are handcrafted in a small town in China known for vegan handbags. So that's one. And then number two is that they utilize patina, which is a combination of polyurethane and microfiber, which according to their website is a lot better than the traditional PU. And of course, technically speaking, 100 times better than PVC, which is not really safe for the environment. Now, whether patina is really the next big thing on vegan leather, that we don't know because I'm always up for trying new material. And number three, the shipping is also fast despite it coming all the way from China to Hawaii. It only took about one week from the time it was shipped. Number four, all their handbags are relatively affordable depending on the style and when I say relatively it runs anywhere between $80 plus that's what I that's what I remember okay now without further ado this is the backpack that I'm talking about this comes in two sizes there's a larger one but I opted for a mini one since I am tiny okay so I just have my um, scarf here which i use as a headband sometimes or just to accessorize my bag all right so this is how it looks so this is the style it's specifically called the drawstring backpack it comes in two sizes the larger one retails for about 159 dollars this one is the mini one which retails for 139 dollars the mini backpack has four colors I got black, but there is also tan, there is olive green, and there is yellow. So maybe in the future, I might purchase yellow in time for summer, but who knows. As you can see, the texture is really smooth and shiny, and it's flexible. In fact, really more flexible than the polyurethane, in particular those ones from Angela Roy. So in front, there is a pocket. And as you can see, the stitching there is like chevron type. You can stick your phone here, but might not be a good idea when you're out and about doing shopping. There is a nice little logo here that you can, you know, you can barely read, but it says JWP. And at the back, you have two straps that are adjustable, which is good. Either you want it close to your back or far. It really doesn't matter but I like it this way and you have a handle here if you're not feeling the backpack drama okay and then this is now the drawstring 
Okay. And this is the inside. There is one zippered pocket. And then the rest are what you see. What's in, what you see are just my daily essentials. Okay. Keys. My everyday wallet. Big one. This one is from another designer. Uh, matte and matte. It's also made of vegan leather. This is my everyday wallet. Um, my coin purse, also from Matt and Nat, of which a collection I featured in another video. And then, it's not being trash. Ah, this makes me want to clean up my stash, yeah? Paper, paper, paper. And then a leaflet of our new clinic, which I designed, okay? The content and everything. Anyways, so I don't carry a lot especially when I'm half day so basically what you see there is what you get very minimalistic as far as content goes so now that you've seen the ins and outs in your exterior what are my final thoughts on this particular backpack well you guess it right I love it. In fact, I am really beginning to be a big fan of this brand now, JWU Pay. Two purchases so far, two thumbs up for both bags. I've been using this non-stop for two weeks in a row. It got rain on, still in good condition. Now tell me, aren't those reasons enough to be hooked on this brand? And between you and me, there's actually another brand coming pretty soon, which I'm really excited because I've never owned a color like that in my lifetime alrighty i know again very trivial but you know already you've been really watching my vlogs my videos you know that handbag makes my knees weak so i hope you enjoyed another vegan handbag review from moi and please if you haven't subscribed yet please do give this video a thumbs up and i will see you in my next video you tell me if you want to see another handbag or you want to see another kind of haul which might happen pretty soon but meantime i wish everyone the best of everything and i will see you next time hello